Hey y'all, welcome to Christie's Cooking Channel. We're gonna do things a little bit different today. I'm gonna fire up this grill and I'm gonna do all the cooking today. Well, not everything. Christie's gonna probably do the size, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on this grill right here. So first off, um, I'm gonna go ahead and fire up this charcoal. So y'all hold on one second, I'll be right back. Now I always use this Kingsford lighter fluid. Now, this stuff right here is almost good enough to drink. Now what I like to do is, I mean, I soak it. And I mean, brother, I have it just dripping. Hell, it'll probably be about a quarter inch of fluid in the bottom. And I fire that bad boy up, and I mean, son, I'm telling you right now, it's the best thing y'all ever had. Now, normally what I do is after I got the coals all burned off and I put them steaks on the grill, every time I flip them, I get in between them grates, you know, and I fill up even more. Now, if you ain't got lighter fluid, 87 octane works good. I've used kerosene in a, pan, in a, in a pinch, and you gotta do what you gotta do. And uh, Christy, you just let me know when you're ready and I'm gonna start pouring. Uh-uh, hell no, no. What's, -uh. what's the problem? No, do you want me to lose my channel? Well, no, I mean, hell, I, I've been doing this forever. Well, especially when you're not around, so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no. Guys, I'm just playing with you. I know better than that. I'm sure some of the folks probably turned in the grave when they seen me pull this stuff out. So we just throw that away. Uh, a lot of fluid does work good when you got some wet wood and you're building a bonfire. Believe it or not, it does help out a little bit. Um, but no, I mean, I'm just, I'm just messing with y'all. I got to get my lighter. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I got some paper up under here. Get this chimney going, and uh, don't, don't nobody threat. We ain't gonna use a lighter fluid. I was just joking. Um, everything's good. So let me get that going, and y'all just hold up. Now, before anybody has a heart attack, I know this is Budweiser, and. I used to be one of the largest haters of damn Budweiser back in the day because the stuff tasted terrible. A few years ago, I bought some and put it on ice. And believe it or not, I th I, honestly, I think they changed the recipe because it ain't what I remember. It used to be, you know, right up there with horse piss, but this is actually pretty good. Now, I went up here to the local Stop and Rob, and old boy I talked to in there all the time, he gave me a 12 pack for Christmas, and I appreciate that, and I ain't gonna turn it down. So let's go ahead and pop a top. It's ice cold too. Mm. It ain't as good as Colorado Kool-Aid, but uh, it's probably about seventh or eighth uh, runner up. But it ain't, it ain't bad. Kind of a cool looking can, kind of like that. Now comes the second favorite part. Well, actually third, because uh, Eaton's the number one. Now every once in a while, I like to get me a good old stogie and smoke it. Now, these are some new ones I picked up called Cuban Rounds. Uh, they say that they are hand rolled in Cuba. I honestly doubt it. They were probably on a plane coming from somewhere with a couple of Cubans on board and that's about as close as they came to being Cubans. But um, <laughs> they smell pretty good. They're not bad. Uh, they're better than some of them turds I usually smoke. So we're gonna light it up and just see what it does. <laughs> not too bad. We'll light up and see what she does. Old Zippo. Now you gotta have a Zippo. A lot of people say you gotta have a match. I like a Zippo, it's old fashioned. Not as old fashioned as a match, of course. <laughs> Actually ain't too bad. I mean, I'm kind of surprised. I mean, what do you expect from a gas station? <laughs> All right, guys, so Christy normally does this. She shows you step by step. And, um, you know, if y'all like me, I, I don't care about all that crap. I mean, it's about like a porno. I don't give a damn about the dialogue or the storyline. I mean, I fast forward that stuff to the nitty gritty. I mean, I want to see them slide that skin wagon back in the cave and go to town. Okay? So, you know, that's, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put the good stuff on the meat, and I'm going to put the meat on the good stuff and fire it up, and we're going to eat. That's how we're going to do it. So, guys, y'all hold tight, and we're going to get this thing going just in a few minutes. Stay tuned now. I want to give a holler out to uh, Matt at Matador Prime Steak. Um, he sent us these two beautiful prime ribeye steaks. I mean, just look at the marble in them. I mean, they're beautiful. I mean, I know they're going to be delicious. Um, there's only one thing that really I love more than steak, and I, I can't say anything on Christy's channel because she'll probably get the boot and get kicked off of YouTube. So um, I'll just keep my mouth shut about that. I'm um, getting ready to season these steaks up. Um, I want to thank Mike 
and heaven made products um, for this wonderful seasoning. It's called It's Incredible. Uh, it should be called It's Unbelievable because it is. It's just, it's great. It's got everything. I mean, it's everything you'd ever need on steak. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and season up these bad boys. Now you can't never have too much seasoning in my book. Some people say less is more. That's a bunch of horse shit if you ask me. <laughs> I like a lot. <laughs> Look at that stuff. That's beautiful. That's a match made in heaven right there. Old Matt and Mike. And old man. Uh, as I said before, the name of the company um, is Heaven Made. But to be honest with you, when I put stuff like this on a steak, it makes me want to stop all that grinning, drop the linen, and do a whole bunch of sinning. <laughs> man, this stuff is good. Look at that. That's beautiful. Man, these are going to be on point. While that charcoal that. is still burning off, um, I want to give a holler out to uh, CJ and Kent for having us on the hot seat the other night. It was a good time. I enjoyed that. Um, you know, and also, uh, talking about these steaks, Michael at Heaven Made Products, um, I want to thank you, sir, for having a couple of giveaways that night. Uh, that meant a lot to us, and I appreciate that. Um, thank you guys so much. Uh, I just can't thank y'all enough for the good time that we had, and uh, I hope everybody else enjoyed it, and I hope everybody had a good time that night. Thank you very much. I think these are just about burn off. Don't burn your eyebrows. Yeah, I'm good. Or your mustache. Spread those bad boys around. Look at that, boy. That's good stuff. As you can see, uh, two beautiful ribeyes, and uh, these right here are ready for all you damn trolls and steak Nazis that think everything's too damn overcooked and overdone and this, that, and what have you. They're completely raw. Is that good enough for you guys? <laughs> Okay, where I come from, we put meat on fire. Okay, y'all noticed already. I put some hickory in there. I just, I love the flavor. I love the smell of it. I love a good, uh, good wood burning fire. This just adds to it. Put these bad boys on here. Look at that. Love that sizzle. And oh man, I was already right. put these bad boys while Christian was inside getting them sides ready. Smells good. Yes, it does. All right, guys, I like to sear that fat some. Boy, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. God, Oh, yeah, it does. Look at that bad boy. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm. Oh, it smells good. It's the wood that makes it good, as Kenny Rogers would say. These steaks ain't done yet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and test them real quick with my finger. Don't worry, I washed my hands a couple of weeks ago real good. So, <laughs> oh yes. Yeah, they're getting there. They're almost there. Oh yeah. You don't use no thermometer? Nah, I don't need one. <laughs> I've been cooking steaks long enough, I know what's good and what ain't. And they're almost where they need to be. Man, it smells good. You gonna cut into this bad boy. Show you what it looks like. Mm, Look at that. Looks good man, to me. Man, oh man. That is some good looking meat. Guys, here we go. Guys, everybody talks about when you cook a steak. It's all about presentation and grill marks. I don't give a crap about none of that. It's all about how it tastes to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, you can go ahead and stick an umbrella up my ass and call me a hurricane. <laughs> that is the damn best ribeye I've ever had. That is, that's on point. Michael and Matt, y'all are a match made in heaven. Oh my God, that's some good meat right there. Woo! Mm. Thank you guys again. Uh, once again, everybody, um, Matador Prime Steak, Heaven Made Products, Michael, check them out. Go look them up. Order it. I'm telling you, you can't find nothing better. That is on point. Oh, guys, thank you so much, man. That was a good cut of meat. Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. 
I go the rest of the night thinking you guys. It is good, guys. Check it out. I'm serious. It's some good meat, some good seasoning. Perfect. Thank you guys again so much.